DD, player has gained the ability to fusion innate abilities. Level, unaccessible. Effect, upon meeting specific conditions, you can copy other players' innate abilities and skills, store them in the skill library, and fuse them to create stronger skills. Khan Jin Hyuk opens his eyes, and at this moment, he will once again reach the peak of the world. He glances at the old man outside the protective shield who is still releasing flames with all his might. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I'll use you as the first test subject. System, give me a copy of his ability. Min Young Wu is a person who always wears a mask and lives his life. Please let him show his true emotions. Interesting. So, in other words, I just have to make him angry, right? The old man is still desperately releasing flames. Hey kid, you took the treasure, so come out already. I can't hold on much longer. But Kong Jin Hyuk, this sneaky person, doesn't even turn his head. Oh, you can stop using your skills now. The old man's eyes shook intensely. He instinctively felt that something was wrong. The next second, Kong Jin Hyuk bared his fangs. I said, you can stop now. There's no need for you to do this. Min Young Wu asked, then, why did you make me keep using my skills? Kong Jin Hyuk recited the incantation to dissipate the protective shield. Sorry, old man. I knew the incantation to break the protective shield from the beginning. The reason I made you stand outside and use your skills was just to exhaust your magic power. You are no longer of any use to me now. Then, he walked to the front of the large map without looking back. This treasure holds information on all hidden items in the first to ten floors of the Tower of Trials. It is a treasure for the old man, but it is useless for Kong Jin Hyuk because he already has all the information in his head. Plus, he has no intention of handing over the map willingly. Seeing the lighter in Kong Jin Hyuk's hand, the old man panicked. Hey, hey kid, let's talk about this. Calm down. But Kong Jin Hyuk just gave a cold smile and brought the lighter closer to the map. I told you from the beginning, old man, I don't need this map. Then, the flame licked the ancient paper. With a whoosh, the raging fire devoured the entire map in an instant. No, stop. When Min Young Wu saw this, he was despairing. The treasures that were consumed by the huge fire were not only the treasures, but also the years of heartache and the anger of being betrayed by Kong Jin Hyuk. A variety of emotions interweave together. Old man, red temperature broke through the defense. Ah, you damn kid, I'll carve you off. At the moment that he broke through the defense, the conditions for copying abilities were met. Kong Jin Hyuk received a system prompt. You have met the conditions for copying. A massive flow of data has been gathered into information and stored in the world's memory. Save completed. You have successfully copied the B-grade skill. Fire element. Ha <laughs> ha, got it. The old man's side had already erupted into a volcano, a ball of burning anger swirling in his hand. But Kong Jin Hyuk's eyes were blood red, and he sinisterly laughed. Old man, you still don't understand why I burned the map? He then extended both hands, like a dragon, and with a boost of 12 attribute points, two spirals of burning flames wrapped around his left and right hands. Come on, let's see whose fire burns brighter. Min Young Wu was stunned. Compared to Kong Jin Hyuk's blazing fire, his small flame was like a little brother. Seeing Kong Jin Hyuk, who looked like a demon in the fire, the old man doubted his own life. No, no, it's impossible. This kid's ability is the same as mine, but the power is completely different. Who are you? It doesn't matter who I am, old man. If you want to be able to advance smoothly through the trial tower in the future, you'll have to listen to me obediently. Understand? People must bow their heads under the eaves. Upon hearing this, the old man had no choice but to extinguish his thoughts. Meanwhile, Kang Jin Hyuk showed his true colors as a shameless person, not only burning the old man's map and stealing his ability, but also threatening the old man and his granddaughter to obediently listen to him and become his loyal subordinates in the future. He's just shameless. The camera turns and Kong Jin Hyuk leisurely walks out of the museum. This time, he really had a good harvest. Although he's still at level 1, he's already gained the ability to fuse inherent abilities, as well as the fire element and true eye. After destroying the museum and stealing the relics, the news reports the destruction of famous museums in all countries due to the appearance of the Tower of Trials, with many holy relics stolen, including the sword in the stone, the Lan China Spear, and the Thorn Crown. In addition, the footage of Kong Jin Hyuk showing off his skills was recorded and censored. The officials from the Awakened Beings Association come on TV and call for people to join, saying they will fulfill any condition for Kong Jin Hyuk to join. Kong Jin Hyuk laughs at their offer, saying he doesn't need to belong to anyone to reach the top in this chaotic time. To make matters worse, the officials were trying to win him over with empty promises. It was a complete fantasy, and that the Tower of Trials, the real main event, is about to open. 
The scene then shifts, the green waters and green mountains, an island floating in the sky. Unlike the magical scene in reality, this is the first floor of the Tower of Trials. Kang Jin Hyuk arrives at the first floor of the Tower of Trials. Here, the waters are clear and the mountains are green, with people everywhere. The system also sent 100 gold coins to each player. As initial capital, old players all moved, wanting to occupy the monster spawning point first. But only Kang Jin Hyuk stands in place. He shows a wicked smile, because in this high difficulty game, only he knows that secret. It was something he accidentally discovered when he was playing the 30th floor boss. Because in this game, if you follow the normal level up process, without exception, you will get stuck at the 30th floor. But when he carefully reviewed all the paths he had taken, and collected a large amount of hidden information, he finally realized how absurd his mistakes were. It turned out that all players had taken the wrong path from the beginning. For this, he even deleted the character he had worked hard on for several years, starting everything over from scratch. And now that this game has become reality, he naturally will not repeat the same mistakes. He goes to a place where there are absolutely no new players, before the ruins entrance he frequents. That's right, this is the Labyrinth of Minotauros, where the giant boss Minotauros, who can crush new players, resides. If you want to pass through the Tower of Trial smoothly in the later stages, then this is an unavoidable challenge. Sighing, he didn't expect to challenge this place again. He puts his hand in. The door of the labyrinth opens with a sound. Come on, bring it on. Once again, pushing the door open, whether it's the old hall, the murals, or the door hole, everything is so familiar and unchanged. Kan Jin Hyuk walks through the dangerous labyrinth like he's strolling through a leisurely courtyard. Glowworms fly back and forth, landing on his hand. Hello, old buddy, long time no see, but soon his eyes are cold. However, who the hell are you guys? He turns around and sees that three men and one woman have appeared behind him. The ponytail girl at the head shows a gentle and lovely smile. Hello, I'm Anna. We're looking for a monster spawning point. We saw the door to this labyrinth was open so we came in. But the reality is completely different from what she says. Just 10 minutes ago, when Kang Jin Hyuk just entered the labyrinth, several people secretly targeted him. The male in the group was still hesitating. The type and size of this labyrinth are unknown. Will it be very dangerous if we go in like this? But Anna coldly said, Use your brains! The early stages of the Tower of Trials are so important. This person is not going to hunt monsters and instead came to this labyrinth. He must be an old player. And this labyrinth doesn't even need a key to open. The difficulty must not be high. We're just picking up money by going there. But will he obediently share his equipment with us? Anna shows a wicked smile. He, so, will keep him trapped in the labyrinth forever. Idiots! Anna gave a charming smile. But Kanjina's eyes flickered and he used his true sight ability to see her attributes. Anna was 22 years old and had the skills commune, wick step, and weak healing. The commune skill in particular caught Kang Jin Hyuk's attention. It allowed him to more quickly gain the other person's favor and make them lower their guard. The conditions for copying the skill were also clear. Spend at least 240 hours with Anna, with no other people present at the time. Kang Jin Hyuk considered this for a moment and decided to accept Anna's invitation to join the team. The other members of Anna's team were named Cannon Fodder 1, Cannon Fodder 2, Cannon Fodder 3, and two buffoons. After introducing himself, Kang Jin gave a harmless smile and said, I'm Kang Jin please take care of me. He then turned and gave a sinister smile, thinking to himself, I'll just have to stab them in the back later. He decided not to bother remembering the names of the cannon fodder. After introducing herself, Anna suddenly approaches, grabbing Kang Jin Hyuk's arm. Hey, hey, Jin Hyuk brother, in the past, you played up to the 10th floor of the Tower of Trials at most, right? 20 floors, or 30 floors. Feeling the arm approaching her soft chest, Kang Jin Hyuk's face also turns red and his heart races. How did this woman suddenly become so attractive? But, but he knows very well that this is the effect of the skill commune. He immediately pushes her away with righteous words. Miss, I'm not that kind of person. Rose wherever you think I'm on the floor. That's the floor. Anna awkwardly laughs. It's strange. Why isn't this kid affected by my skill? She flirtatiously approaches him again. Then Jin Hyuk brother, tell us, what kind of monsters are there in this labyrinth? Kan Jin Hyuk raises his head upon hearing this question. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's not hard, because you'll soon see the terrible aspects of this labyrinth. It undergoes changes every certain amount of time. Huh? Anna and the others didn't understand what he meant, but suddenly the ground shook violently. Members 4 and 5 immediately panicked. What? What happened? 
Anna was also stunned. It's impossible. This is clearly just a first floor labyrinth. How could such a terrifying change happen? During their shock, huge bricks popped out of the walls with a loud bang. A huge mural flew towards Anna. She nearly avoided being flattened by dodging at the last second. But the others weren't so lucky. The rapidly changing position of the wall bricks and stones crushed them completely with a loud bang. And after 10 minutes of chaos, the uproar finally came to an end. Now Anna's team only has four members left. Anna's team is still in shock, sweating cold sweat. No, this can't be. A labyrinth of this level on the first floor. Aren't the first floors supposed to be easy trials?